this comma rule is about using commas after introductory words or phrases in sentences. When we have a word or a few words at the beginning of a sentence that act like an introduction or a transition, we need to put a comma after that word or those words. Let's have a look at some examples. Let's say your um, dinner was really late one day and you were starving. You might say, finally, I got to eat. So, finally is that transition word, that introductory word. So, finally, I got to eat. Let's have a look at this one. Wow, that looks like fun. Wow. It's like a little introductory word in the sentence. Without it, the sentence still makes sense. That looks like fun. But when we add it in, it introduces a slightly different element into the sentence. So, wow, comma, that looks like fun. Let's have a look at the last one. Over the years, humans have grown taller. Over the years, humans have grown taller. Now, if I take out over, because the last two are only one word, so let's take out over. The years humans have grown taller. Doesn't make sense. What if I take out over and the? Years humans have grown taller. Doesn't make sense. Let's take out over the years. Humans have grown taller. That makes a bit more sense. So over the years... That's our introductory phrase, more than one word, and we put a comma after that. So these introductory words or phrases, they're transitions at the beginning of a sentence that add something to the sentence, but if they were removed, the sentence would still make sense. They have to have a comma after them.